Hey guys, so we have a trailer for House of the Dragon Season 2 coming out tomorrow and they've released a few photos in preparation for the trailer. So when I heard that we were getting a prequel series to Game of Thrones, I didn't really know what to think because I loved Game of Thrones. Like I even have a little Pandora bracelet I got for Christmas and a Skolak. Um, You can't really see it. It's like the Targaryen dragon and then I can swap it over to a dire wolf for House Stark and yeah it's like I can change depending on my mood but I'm definitely in more of a Targaryen mood right now so yeah I wasn't really sure how to feel about this with the ending of Game of Thrones you know we all just were disappointed in that ending but it was still an amazing show and I feel like this series is a return to form instead of it making the legacy of the show even worse. It's, yeah, it's quite an enjoyable show. Nowhere near as good as Game of Thrones, but still, that's a pretty hard standard, you know, to meet. Because even with the last season, it's still such a good show. So, yeah, everybody's got to decide if they team green or team black. I know me, I'm team green because I like Aemond. He's my favorite. So let me know down below, are you team green or team black? And let me know if you've read the books. No spoilers. I don't know how it ends and I don't want to know. But if a book's hard to read because there's so many characters with different POVs, that are constantly changing with complicated names and different settings and it just feels like it could be quite a complicated book to read but I'd really like to read it so we've got the character posters down here with Aegon, Aegon on the throne and he doesn't really look like he wants to be there so it was really interesting seeing his journey at the end of season one, how he started to warm up to the idea of being king when he saw how much people loved him only because they didn't actually know him and the horrible person he actually is. But yeah, it's like it started to go to his head. So it'll be interesting seeing his journey in season two. And that guy, Sir Kristen Cole, I really am not a fan of him. He just gives major simp energy like just you know that guy that like incel type energy I don't know I don't want to put labels on people but like I feel like he's just that guy you know and then here we've got my favorite Amond. I just love how we see his journey from this bullied little kid who has to overcome so much and then he's this fierce warrior who rides the lar largest dragon um I just think he's the most interesting character he's got such a screen presence the character the actor that plays him Ewan Mitchell I think his name was is I've seen him recently in Saltburn and it was the same there as well. He's a very intense man. Then we've got, I forget the actress's name, but I've seen her in Bates Motel and I think she's a really good actress. You know, I've never really been a fan of her character. I just don't like her. Same with them. I'm really just not a fan of them. I think they're... Like they're, I don't know, they're interesting characters, but he's one of my other favourites, Damon, and I know that the final fight is going to be between him and Aemond. I know that because I've seen spoilers, but I don't know who actually wins, so who knows if they'll even copy the books, like maybe they'll write their own sort of ending, I don't know, but I feel like Damon and Aemond are definitely the two most fierce warriors. So seeing them face off is going to be really interesting. So let me know what your thoughts are. What are you hoping for in season two? Let me know your thoughts down below. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Thank you.